This video was generated with Kling 2.6, but it's my voice. I can make videos doing anything, like being the fastest on the slopes. No matter where I am, it'll always sound like me. To use your own voice with Kling 2.6 or any other video model, we're going to be using a few Eleven Labs tools. First of all, we have Voice Clone, or Voice Design if you want to create a brand new voice for your character. Otherwise, you can clone your own. Then, we're going to use Image and Video, which allows us to generate our videos with Kling 2.6. And finally, we're going to be using the Voice Changer to swap the voice of the generation to our own. Here's exactly how it works. To use your own voice with Kling 2.6 inside of Eleven Labs, and by the way, you can click the first link in the description down below to get started, we want to go ahead and click on the Image and Video tool. And this this is where we can use all of the AI image and AI video models. And so at the bottom, we can go and select video, then we can click on the model and select Kling 2.6. And now I can simply type in my prompt and generate any video I want with Kling 2.6. But before we do that, I want to put myself within the video and then use my own voice. So to do this, I'm first going to head to image and then we're going to select Google Nano Banana Pro. I'm going to paste my image reference of me. And then I'm going to paste this prompt, which has put me in a fireman costume in front of a burning building, same pose, same face. And now I want to generate this as a 16 by nine image and I want to increase the resolution to 4K. And I'm just going to choose four different variations so I've got generations to choose from and here we simply click generate and as you can see we now have four images of me generated by Google Nano Banana Pro of me standing in front of a burning building in a fireman suit and the reason I generated these is because I want to then use one of these as the start frame within my Kling 2.6 generation and that's how I can use my visual likeness in the video so let's say I liked one of these ones here I could go and select the video model and then I can go and select Kling 2.6 and then we can drag and drop one of the images into the start frame. And now here, I can then go ahead and paste my prompt. And one very important thing to do is to make sure you add no sound effects and no music to the end of your prompt. And so right here, I just type out no sound effects and no music. And we want to make sure that we toggle the audio on. And again, I want to generate four generations just so I have a few different variations to choose from. And my prompt, I've got Feynman says, honestly, I think the emoji fire is overrated. And now you'll notice when I generate this with Clean 2.6, it's not gonna sound like me because it doesn't have a reference as to what I sound like. And so here, I'm just gonna click generate. And now while this is generating, we're going to go ahead and I'm gonna show you how to clone your voice so you can can use your likeness within your videos. Inside of Eleven Labs, we're going to go ahead and click on Voices. And here you can click on create or clone a voice. First of all, you've got instant voice cloning and professional voice cloning. Instant voice cloning allows you to create a clone of your voice with as little as 10 seconds of audio. However, if you want a better sounding voice clone, you can go and choose professional voice clone, which needs at least 30 minutes of audio of you speaking into a microphone. However, we recommend using at least one to two hours for the best results. And this will allow you to create a voice clone that sounds exactly like you. And for an in-depth tutorial in how to clone your voice and get the best results results with professional voice cloning, I'm going to leave a link to a video tutorial in the cards and also in the description down below. So you can go and check that out. And then I also want to mention at the beginning of the video, I mentioned creating a brand new custom unique voice and you can actually use voice design where you can go and simply describe and create a unique voice, which is yours by typing out a few words and then clicking generate. But that's more if you want to use a custom unique voice for your characters and have a consistent voice for all of your characters across a bunch of different generations. And once you've created your voice clone, you can find all all of your voices inside of the My Voices tab. And as you can see, if I type in Alec right here, I can find my professional voice clone. And once you've got your voice clone, if we head back to our Kling 2.6 generations, as you can see, we've got four videos and let's go ahead and preview one of them. Honestly, I think the fire emoji is overrated. So as you can see, we've got a video with my likeness. There's a building burning in the background, but it doesn't sound like me. And there's no music and sound effects, which is a good thing because now what we want to go and do is click on edit in studio. And now we're taken into the 11 lab studio and here to swap the voice, we can then go and select our clip and then we click use voice changer. And now I can go and find the voice that we cloned earlier. So again, I'm just going to type in Alec and here you're going to type in the name of your voice, whether that was your voice clone or a new voice that you made with voice design. And then we select the voice and we simply click change voice. And now Eleven Labs is swapping the voice out with a new one with inside your Kling 2.6 generation. And so if we play this from the beginning. Honestly, 
I think the fire emoji is overrated. As you can see, we now have the clean 2.6 generation that sounds like me. Albeit there's a little bit of a difference right now because I'm on a different microphone and I have a little bit of a cold. But now if we wanted to go and add the sound effects in the background, let's say we wanted some music or we wanted the sound effects for the burning building, I could click on sound effects and then I could go to the bottom right here and simply describe the sound effect. And I could type in fire, the duration, we would want to adjust it to the length of my clip, which is five seconds. And now Eleven Labs generates three different sound effects that we can choose from and add to our project. So let's take a listen. This one sounds perfect. So I'm gonna place my playhead at the beginning, click the plus sign on the sound effect, and it's now imported onto my project. If I click on it and then go to edit, I can adjust the audio. I don't want it to be too loud. And now if I play this back from the beginning, Honestly, I think the fire emoji is overrated. And so that is how to use your own custom voice or voice clone with your Kling 2.6 video generations. If you have any questions, let us know in the comment section down below. And if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. And we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.